Sherry Robertson from Missouri is about to step into this virtual world. I was in a car accident when I was 19 years old. I was a passenger in the car, and the driver fell asleep at the wheel, and we hit head-on with a small truck, and both of my eyes were just destroyed. Hoping to regain her sight, Sherry volunteers for a pioneering procedure. It involves marrying technology to the huge processing power of the brain's visual cortex. It was a chance for me to be able to see again when the doctors had always told me I would never see anything. Sherry is about to have an extraordinary experience. Doctors drill through both sides of her skull, exposing her brain. Then they implant two triangular plates, each holding 200 tiny electrodes, directly onto Sherry's visual cortex. Finally, the surgeons string cables from the plates to terminals sticking out of her skull. Next, the electrodes run through a computer to a camera on Sherry's eyeglasses. All of this technology is designed to help Sherry regain some sight. It was, I guess, quite a shock for me when I felt my head and I felt these terminals sticking out behind my head because I guess I really wasn't expecting that. But for her to see what the camera sees, many things have to happen. And that requires a step into the unknown. Each electrode touches a different part of Sherry's brain. When the system triggers an electrode, she sees a flash somewhere in her visual field. Where? The doctors don't know. Now? So, they trigger each electrode one by one to learn where in her visual field Ready? Sherry sees flashes. Now? Oh, wow. It was right there. Okay. When she sees a flash, Sherry points to top, bottom, left, or right. With every electrode mapped, the doctors connect the camera, making certain that what it sees matches the flashes in Sherry's brain. Yeah, right in the same spot. Same thing, so it works for us. Finally, with the camera mounted, Sherry's mother helps connect yeah. the gear to try the new settings. Feel better. Ready? Oh, my computer turned to the right. <laughs> Has technology helped bring Sherry's sight back? finally saw my first light it took my breath away I could not believe it oh we knew it worked I really lit up and that was oh. very very thrilling for me oh something's lighting me up we can't know what Sherry sees but we do know what she describes well I'm seeing two big dots of light and they are white with a little bit of red in it wow those were two really big flashes and they moved I saw a big flash of light there. This early in the project, doctors have activated only some of Sherry's electrodes. Eventually, they hope to connect many more, vastly improving the scope of her vision. Oh, wow. Because I can only use 10 of my electrodes. Whenever an object goes in front of my camera, I will see two flashes of light. And they're about they're about the size of a big peanut m and just one on top of the other. So a couple more. I'm not sure if it's the waves. And that way I know that there is an object there. Now, I'm not sure what it is. There's sailboats? Is that it still here? That is cool. When I am able to use all of my electrodes, however, I will be able to see the outlines of things I'm looking at. So I'll know if I'm looking at uh, a tree, or a person, or a car. So I'll actually know what I'm looking at. No one pretends that Sherry's vision is back.
But the fact she can sense any of the visual world makes her an extraordinary pioneer. Imagine if one day we could feed complete vision signals directly to the brain. What could we see? We might see a world that we've been blind to, as if we were seeing through night vision lenses, infrared cameras, even X-ray vision.